Today I'm going to be comparing the Lug Soprano to the Lug Cabby SE and what I'll do is just give you all of the organization and features of both of these, show how they wear on the body and then the person that requested this video said that they're looking for a new travel bag. So I'm also going to show you how this fits over a carry-on suitcase as well. So let's get started with this Lug comparison on the Soprano in the sand taupe color and the Cabby SE in a classic black. Starting with the Soprano, you can carry this with these grab handles if you want to do it that way. And then there's also these tote handles that you can carry on by the tote straps as well. And then let me just show you the drop length of this. It does have that rubber grip, so it's going to help it to not slide off of the shoulders. So this is a side view of how the Soprano looks when you're wearing it. And of course, I don't have anything packed in this, but it does have a slimmer profile than the Cabby does. So it's not going to stick out as much on the side. Then I wanted to show you the Cabby SC. Again, this is one that you can carry by the small grab handles if you want to do it that way. And it also has the tote straps that you can carry them a tote style as well with the rubber grips. So you can see how this looks. It's a little bit bigger of a profile than the Soprano is. And then you can see a side view. I actually have a computer sitting in this one. You can see that it's a little bit wider at the bottom, so it's not going to have as slim of a profile as the Soprano does. But here is a front view and then a side view if you decide to carry this with the tote strap. So next I wanted to show how these fit on a carry on suitcase. So first I'm gonna do the Cabby SE and it actually has a complete trolley sleeve to go through. And you can kind of just get an idea of how this is gonna look on your rollerboard. So you can see the width fits really good on a carry on size suitcase and then let me show you what the soprano will look like so the soprano actually doesn't have a complete sleeves it just has the strap so you can slide that over very easily and it'll velcro back on and stay put and you can see the profile of this one it's not going to be too wide where it's going to hang off on the sides of a carry-on suitcase so both of these fit really nicely on a carry-on without worrying about having to topple over or anything like that so now let's go into the features and organization of these two bags so let's just go ahead and start around the outside of both of these bags. So again, you have the grab handles on both of these. They both have the nice tote handles that have a great drop to them. You can kind of see the height of both of these are almost equally the same. Same as with the straps, they have the same kind of drop length. Both of them have the rubber grip so that they're going to be easy to stay in place and not slide on the shoulders. So basically those are identical in that and when I'm setting them up right it looks like the Cabby SE may be a little bit taller but not by much and then let me put the Soprano in front of it it looks like the Cabby SE may be a little bit wider than the Soprano is but not by much you can see a side-by-side -side comparison these are very comparable bags in size so let's just talk about the organization and how they differ in the organization well actually let me show you the bottom and you can get a little bit of a better idea of the size on the bottom. So look at the difference in the bottom. So you can see that they're about the same width right here, the same height, but definitely you have a bigger base on the Cabby SE as you do the Soprano. So it's a little bit of a slimmer profile like I was stating when I showed you how it wore on the body. So definitely more room to pack on the bottom of this and it'll sit up a little bit easier on the cabby because you have a little bit more room. Both of them do have feet. The Soprano has metal feet and the cabby has the plastic feet with the plastic bottle. So you can see the difference in the quilting. This has that basket weave quilting. This has more of your chevron style quilting in the front. You also have a charm bar on the cabby that you don't have on the Soprano. And then they both have their magnetic closed felt line areas right here in the front for your cell phones. So in front of the Soprano, you do have that cell phone area and then you also have a horizontal zip in front of that you can see the inside of this is showing a built-in wallet that is rfid protected so you have a bill slot right here and then you have a place for six credit cards underneath that here is the lining of the santo but i think 
When I get inside, I'll show you the lining a little bit better of it. You'll be able to see it. So you have a pretty good amount of room to just drop some things in there that you need to get to easily. And then you have that built-in wallet in the front. So that's the front of your organization for the Soprano. So on the front of the cabbie, you have the cell phone pocket. And then below this horizontal zipper, you do have the charm bar there. And then you have this really nice area in the front. It's going to be a little bit taller than the front of the Soprano, so you can see it's a little bit deeper on this one. This is RFID protected in the front. You have a slot for two pin right here. And then you also have two cargo pockets. They are stretchy cargo pockets that are felt lined. So a good place for readers and sunglasses or whatever you need in there. You can definitely do that because they are felt lined and they're nice and stretchy. So that's what you have in the front of the Cabbie SE. And there's a lot of room. It opens really nicely in the front of this one. So both of these have magnetic closed side pockets on both of these, on both of the sides. And then turning it around to the back, the Soprano has the trolley strap, it's Velcro, and the Cabby has the trolley sleeve. So a little bit more room that's padded on here on the Cabby SE. Then on the back, you also have a zipper back here. And it doesn't have any organization in there, but it does go all the way down to the bottom. So lots of room to throw a Kindle or maybe an iPad in the back of this one, if you wanted to, because it does have a little bit of padding right here at the trolley sleeve. Then on the Soprano, you do have that trolley strap, and then you have another horizontal zipper area up above it. Here's a little bit more of detail of what the lining looks like on this sand tote. Again, no organization in this part, but it does go down to the bottom, so you have a lot of room. You may have a little bit more room in the back of the Soprano than you do in the back of the Cabby. So let's go ahead and go to the inside of these, but I wanted to show you a little bit about the Cabby SD. So you can see the zipper at the top. You do have an opening right here, so that is one drawback if you're traveling and you're having to lay it under the seat. There is a possibility that something could fall out of this side part because the zipper doesn't go all the way to the end. It does have the exposed zipper, but if you take that in there, again, on this side, you do have that little bit of room where some smaller things could possibly fall out of that one. On the Soprano, you do have that exposed zipper that you can take away in here as well, but you don't have that open area. So it does zip all the way to the end. So you're not gonna have to worry about anything falling out of this one. Here is the inside of the Soprano. So you have stacked pockets on the back wall. The top two are felt lined and they do go all the way to the bottom. So there's a total of three stacked pockets on this side and three on this side. Then on the front wall of the Soprano, you have a key bungee. Then you have a zipper pocket, a privacy zipper pocket. And right below that, a clear view pocket that does go down to the bottom of the back. So that's your organization on the inside of the Soprano is the six stacked pockets, two of them being felt lines on the back, your key bungee, and then the privacy zipper and the clear view pocket in the front of the Soprano. Now let's go into the inside of the Cabby SE. So once you get in here, I do have a laptop in here and this is a smaller Apple laptop and it fits in there, but I wanted to see if it fit in the Soprano also. So I wanted to show you it fits from one side to the other. So if you have a little bit of a bigger, maybe a 15 or a 17 inch, I'm not sure if it will fit in here, but I do have this in like a sleeve that's padded. So I do have a little bit of extra room around here. Mine's I think a 13 and a half inch laptop, but I think it's a possibility you might be able to fit a 15 in here. I don't have one to just tell, but definitely a 17 is not going to fit in the Soprano, but both of them will fit a laptop. So if you do like to travel with your laptop, both of these bags will accommodate a smaller laptop. You have a key clip, not a key bungee. On the back wall of this, you also have some stacked pockets. On this one side, you have two stacked pockets. The top one is felt lined, the bottom one is not. But beside that, you have a zipper pocket, so it runs down to the bottom of the bag. So that's nice how you had the six stacked pockets in the Soprano. You've got two stacked pockets and then a zipper pocket beside it in the back wall. Then here's the lining of the black. It's that fern lining on this one. In the front, you do have a clear view pocket. It's divided down the center. So you can put things down on this one side and keep them separate from the other side. So it's one zipper, but it is divided down the middle. So it does go from one side to the other, but divided down the center. And then that is all the organization that you have on the inside of this one. So you don't have a complete privacy zipper that goes from one side to the other. You have it kind of halfway on this one side, but it is pretty deep. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there. So that's the inside of the Cabby SC. So now that I've shown you all the organization, how it wears on the body, I'm just gonna kind of give you my final thoughts about both of these. These can be used for many different things. Everyday work bag, everyday just 
bag to carry around with you if you carry a lot with you. Also a great baby bag. So as far as a travel bag, the Soprano, I like that it zips from one side to the other and there is no opening where anything could easily fall out if you're putting it under the seat in front of you. But the Cabby SC I like a little bit better because it has a trolley sleeve. I like a trolley sleeve over a trolley strap because I think it gives it a little bit more stability on staying on top of your rollerboard. And that's just my opinion. I just prefer a sleeve over a strap. I like that the Soprano has a built-in wallet. So if you want to utilize that built-in wallet, then you do have that option. But both of these bags have a front zipper pocket that has RFID protection. So if you wanted to carry the cabbie, even though it doesn't have a built-in wallet, you can throw a wallet in the front and it be RFID protected because there's lots of room. It'll fit a full-size wallet with no problem. I like that the Cabby SC has the wipeable bottom. So if you do get it dirty on the plane, then you can definitely wipe that off without any kind of problem. So I think both of these could be a good travel bag, but but if I was using a tote bag style and was choosing between the two of these, I would use the Cabby SC over the Soprano just because there's a little bit more room to pack some things. I can pack my 311 toiletry bag that's TSA approved in here with a laptop and maybe even a compression bag with an extra change of clothes in here. I just think you have a little bit more room in the Cabby SE to pack some more things than in the Soprano. But neither one of them have the padding that I like when I am carrying my laptop in a travel bag. So that's another option to look at. They don't have the padding for that. So you might want to put it in a sleeve with that extra protection if you're gonna use one of these bags to carry your laptop. So I hope that this has been a helpful review and comparison of these two bags. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.